So we're going to talk about gray codes here. Gray codes are a way of counting in binary such that each successive value differs by one bit. So that di that's different from uh, regular counting in binary in which each different uh, successive value could differ by, by more than one bit. Um, but gray codes come up in uh, devices such as electromechanical switches. These are things like uh, rotary switches where you might have um, um, a dial with 8, 10, 16 positions on it and uh, they're arranged in a circle and you want to select any one of those uh, positions. They come up in the uh, old style um, computer mice with a ball on the bottom. They're, that ball rotates a uh, something called a rotary encoder which is basically a, shown here on the right, which is basically a wheel that has a pattern of ones uh, or black and white uh, stripes on it and the mouse is able to tell the position of the ball based upon which particular pattern it's, it's seeing under its sensor. Um, gray codes also come up in error correction in computer networks and also in uh, computer science we use them for something called Carnot maps which are used to simplify Boolean expressions. So let's uh, take a look at some gray codes here. On the left we have a 1-bit gray code uh, in the middle we have a 2-bit gray code and uh, we've got a 3-bit gray code here. So the 1-bit gray code is uh, almost trivial. You start at 0 and you go to 1 and that's all your possibilities. But in the 2-bit gray, uh, gray code we start to see something interesting here. Uh, we start with the first combination of 0, 0, which is the, the normal one. The second one is 0, 1, but you can see that, that it differs from the first one by just a, uh, flipping the rightmost bit from a 0 to 1. And then the second combination is not 1, 0 like you'd expect. It's actually 1, 1, because in order to get from the second combination to the third combination, we're only allowed to flip one of the bits. And uh, since we already flipped the rightmost one, we're going to flip the, the second one, on the, the one on the left. And then to get to the fourth combination, um, we're going to flip the one on the right again. So uh, as we go through this com uh, successive combinations, you see we flip just one bit each time to go from one to the next. And in fact, the last one also differs from the first one by only one bit. You can see that uh, we flip only, it looks like only the leftmost bit to get back to zero, zero. So uh, you can say that these things kind of form a cycle, um, like uh, you know, zero, zero being one of the positions on a wheel, zero, one being the next one, 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 the third one, one, zero, and these all just kind of go in a, uh, a circle so that, and in fact it goes both directions, so that each number here, like 0, 0, differs from the one next to it by only one bit, no matter which direction you go in. The 3-bit uh, three, uh, three example works the same, so uh, we change only the rightmost bit here. In the second one we change the middle one, then we change the right one, and then we're going to change the leftmost one, then the right one, the middle one, and the right one again. <coughs> so we're only changing one bit each time, and the same thing holds true to get back to the first one. We just change that leftmost bit right there, and it goes all the way back to the first one. So every single position differs from the previous one and the next one by just one bit. So let's look at how we, how I constructed those tables there. So this is how you how you construct it. So for for one bit. Yeah, you know, that's that's pretty easy. You just go a 0 and a 1. But for 2 bits, what you can do is you can take the the 1-bit one, one and just apply a little change to it. So so here's what you do for 2 bits. Is uh, you start with your your 0 and 1 and then reflect it. So uh, reflect it vertically. So we're going to go 1 0. So yes, yeah, just the same as the top half, just reflect it downwards. And then in the um, next bit position, put a 0 for the top half and a 1 for the bottom half. So there's your 2-bit gray code. Uh, your 3-bit gray code, start with the 2-bit gray code. Oops, that's going to be 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Reflect it vertically, just like this. So you see the top half is just the reflection of the bottom half. And then put zeros on the top half and 1s on the bottom half. And there's your 3-bit gray code, and the same thing works so it works for 4-bit as well. Just uh, This is called the reflect 
reflect and prefix method. So you reflect top to bottom and then you prefix the top half with zeros and the bottom half with ones. So that's how you make the gray codes. Um, but I'm going to show you another way to do it which might work um, a little more organically. See, see the problem with this construction is you need to have the previous one in order for it to work and then uh, the two-bit one you need the one-bit one to make it work. Um, so here's how I do it kind of so you know it's a more holistic way of doing it. So I start with uh, zero zero zero. We're going to do the three-bit one here and then what I do is I try to flip the the, the rightmost bit and make a combination that I haven't seen before. And if I'm unable to flip the rightmost bit, then I'll try the next one over, the one to its left. And if I can't flip that one, I'll try the one uh, next to that, and so forth. So let's try it out. So I start with 0, 0, 0. I'm going to flip the rightmost bit and make 0, 0, 1. And then I'm going to try to flip the rightmost one again, but that would just take me back to the previous one. So I'm going to try to flip the middle one, and I get 0, 1, 1. Now I'll try to flip the right one. That's going to give me 0, 1, 0, which is a combination I haven't seen before. So I'll go ahead and do that one. And then if I try to flip the rightmost bit now, it'll take me back to the previous one. So I'm not going to do that. If I try to flip the middle one, it'll take me all the way back to the first one. I've seen that one before. So that leaves me only with one choice, but that's to flip the leftmost one. Uh, and then again, try to flip the right one. So I get 1, 1, 1. Um, can't flip the right one because I just did that, so I'll flip the middle one and I get one zero one, and then finally I'll flip the right one, get one zero zero, and then flipping the leftmost one takes me all the way back to the first one. So I've got that nice, that nice cycle that I was talking about, where even the last one is is consecutive to the first one. And then you can do the same thing for the four bit example. It works exactly the same way. So, there you go. There are uh, gray codes. We're going to find out more about gray codes when we start doing uh, Carnot maps.